bus from Medellin to Guetepe. And yeah, with Stephanie. Hey yo, we have booked two nights in Guatepe, which I think is going to be a really nice amount of time because you can do a day trip there. But we just didn't want to get up super early. We wanted to chill a bit, so we're traveling in the afternoon. We've got two nights there, so we've got the entire day to explore Guatepe tomorrow. The bus from Medellin takes two hours. Uh, we're almost there, I think, in like maybe like 15 minutes more. It costs us 15,000, which is about three pound fifty, four pounds, something like this for a two hour bus journey, which is pretty good. We've got some good seats at the back actually. Now, before we arrive in Guatape, let me introduce to you the sponsors of today's video. Since being in Colombia, I have been using a VPN called Surfshark. I didn't even know what a VPN was a few months ago, but let me tell you, it has revolutionized the way I use the internet at home, but especially when I'm traveling. So a virtual private network is a privacy protection tool that guarantees instant online safety. So a really important thing for me is being able to sign into public Wi-Fi networks at the airport, for example, something that normally really puts you at risk to hackers, but with a VPN, you are completely protected. Not only that, but you can change your virtual location, which probably has more benefits than you think. And one that's really relevant right now is for the use of Netflix. If I change my virtual location to the US, I have access to way more TV shows and movies than what I did before. And if you've ever been in a situation where your device tells you, this media is not available in your country. Well, not anymore, my friends. With the click of a button, you can change your virtual location to whatever country the media is available in. So thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. And Surfshark are also giving you guys 83% off and an extra month free if you use my code backpacking or using the link in the description. Now let's get back to what happened when I arrived in Guatape, Colombia. So we have arrived in the town of Guatape and I think it's a little walk to our hostel so we're gonna get a tuk tuk. Which it's my fault. It's her fault. I said we can walk. She was like, no. But he said this is costing a uh, tres mil, which is about 70p. This is actually my first time in a tuk tuk in Colombia, in South America. Really? Yeah, I've taken taxis and things, but not a tuk tuk. Lake View Hostel. Come on, Ben. Muy bien, you too? Yes. We're checking in. Sure, what's your name? This is so beautiful. I'm the big school. No. We are staying in Lakeview Hostel, which was recommended by a couple of people here in Guatepe. And the reason that we went for this was because the, the hostel was recommended, but the only room left on Hostel World was a private room. But it's a very lovely private room. No one, what's the word? I don't know. No one will not take a private room that's not a word i was looking for but still since there's two of us i mean getting a private room actually isn't much more expensive than a dorm anyway <laughs> i think we pay each it's been about 12 pounds per night <laughs> which <laughs> is a similar price to what you're paying in a dorm room here yeah. and yeah we have a lovely balcony uh, and a bed and also we have a toilet anything else Wardrobe. They've got a bunch of tours downstairs, like, and you just see all the activities. There's loads and loads and loads of things to do here in Guatepe. I think we're just gonna have a really chill evening this evening. Watch the sun go down, get some food, and then we will start exploring in the morning. <laughs> it's a wild Sunday night in the uh, in the hostel. <laughs> you go down, you'll make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Now we can talk like the lady. Oh, the one I uh, yeah. So there's a lady who was serving us at the restaurant. So really, really nice. But she sounded like a yoga instructor. She was American and she spoke very slowly and very properly. And I just felt like after every sentence, she should have just gone. Namaste. Uh, El Brook. El Pino Rock? Si. Sí. Uh, ¿Cuánto cuesta? Yes, 10,000. Perfecto. Gracias. Gracias. Hola, buenos días. Uh, it's the next morning. Uh, we were going to do a walking tour this morning to kind of just find our bearings around Guatape. However, the tour guides didn't show up this morning, which was very disappointing. 
but hey ho now we're gonna go do the famous i think it's called el pino something like that rock instead so we're just getting a tuck tuck there which is costing ten thousand. i'm not feeling so good today unfortunately and i don't really know why we had an early night last night we didn't go out but yes. i think hay fever is affecting me my eyes are really itchy and i just i just don't feel so good i've taken a hay fever tablet so hopefully it settles in but it's not sunny today and yet I'm wearing sunglasses and a hat and the reason for that is just because I'm, I'm trying to shield myself from the outside world a little bit more. There it is. That's the rock that we are about to climb. Yeah. Yeah. I'm already out of breath. I've already just got out the tuk-tuk. <laughs> Welcome to the rock with the best view in the world. Yeah, I'd say already it has a nice view. We still have a long way to go. You see this? This is what we're about to climb up. The area down at the bottom here is as touristy as you can imagine, but it's quite nice because there's lots of cafes and restaurants and I think we'll definitely treat ourselves to a drink after we've finished the little hike but there's loads of souvenir shops and places where it says like, I visited Guatape and Colombia merchandise. La entrada es 20 mil pesos. About four pound 50, something like this. Here's a few facts about the rock. It says it looks like an everyday rock, but has found to contain granite, quartz and feldspar. Peñón de Guatape is surrounded by the waters of the river Na. It is believed to be the product of a volcanic eruption and it's 659 steps Hola. Gracias. and off we go, go. To step down. yeah it helps you count along the way that makes it a bit easier look at that ass look at that ass look at them cheeks look at them cheeks 200 almost 300 yes yeah, not bad not a bad view. Holy Mary. And we keep going up and up and up. If I learned anything in Salento, in the Kokora Valley, it was Estoy subiendo. I think that means I'm going uphill. Halfway! 400! 500! 600! Okay, less than 100 to go. We got this! Yeah. We're about 50 steps from the top and <laughs> there is a store where you can buy things, there's a restaurant, there's toilets over there. It's very civilized. <laughs> and, oh, 705 steps. Woohoo! I made it. Sweaty face. Amazing. Do you know what song always pops into my head? when I get to like the top of a mountain or something that I've just had to climb. It's take that, never forget. Never forget where you're coming from. Never pretend that it's all real. Okay, um, back down we go. Probably good timing as well because the clouds have kind of rolled in now so the view's not as good, but it's still beautiful. So right now we're actually walking through the central of the town of Guadalupe. It's super cute. We haven't walked down here yet. We're just gonna look for somewhere to have some lunch and some coffee. I need some coffee. Guadalupe Main Square. Oh, it's pretty. More self love. More self love, people. It's very important. Um, this is where I want to come for lunch. Guadalupe. I fancy a savory crepe, so I hope that they do it. I'm sure they will. I just like the name. But they should have called it Guata Crepe. That would have been even better. Stephanie's got some pasta. Today I'm Christy. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. I normally the one who has pasta every day, but you got blue cheese with veggies. And I got a crepe since we're in Guata Crepe. I got some mushrooms, tomatoes, cheese, ham, and I think that's it. Guata Crepe. Okay, so we've had a bit of a change of plan. After we got back to the hostel yesterday, we were planning on doing a waterfall hike, but we fell asleep. <laughs> and so we literally napped for like three hours. I don't know why we were both so tired yesterday. So anyway, we had an early night. It's now the next day. And Stephanie and I have decided that we're gonna go 
paragliding. I'm really looking forward to it. It's Stephanie's first time. Paragliding, yes. Parasailing, no. But Guadalupe has just the most beautiful water system, so it should be a super amazing place to go paragliding. We're just in the car on the way there now. I think the whole excursion is going to be like an hour and a half. But they were like 45 More minutes picking us up. Actually, we're supposed to go. Actually, we're, we're supposed, supposed to go, go at yesterday. nine. Yeah, yesterday. At three. It, get, it keeps getting pushed back. I think because of the weather. We haven't been so lucky with the weather here in Guatepe, but hopefully we'll we'll go eventually. Hopefully. Oh, estamos subiendo. We are going up. <laughs> <laughs> Ella es asustada, pero yeah. está bien. Stephanie is walking up going, holy shit, holy shit. We got some cows and horses. Holy cow. God save me, please. We have reached our starting point. The guys are just setting up and basically what's going to be happening... Oh, for, well first we get the helmets we put on. My head is uh, muy pequeño. My head is big. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? Tienes, tienes una más pequeña? Sí. Ah, okay. Ah, sí. Yeah, sí, sí. Like a, like a child. I have the world's smallest head. Ah, see, sí. much better. That's my, that's my, that's my, that's my. So basically, the plan is we take off from here, we head out, and then I think we're going to be going round this corner because round that corner is Guatepe, and we should see uh, the lake, the beautiful, beautiful lake structure that is Guatepe. This helmet is so much better. This one actually fits me well. Gracias. Oh, mama. Right, suited and booted. Apparently the weather is beautiful for flying today, which is fantastic. Even though there's lots of clouds, but I think around the corner where we're going, there's sun. I'll shout to you and tell you it's okay. Oh my God, I'm not okay. Stephanie wanted to go first, but I'm being strapped in. Please, no seat, no jump. No jump. Run, 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 and just go. Porque me run, run, run. No sé. You're gonna be good. So I have to run, 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 but not jump. I can do that. Drop Remember, don't sit and then jump, okay? Don't sit you're, and jump. You run. Just run. Yes. And then he will... Come on. Oh, we go. Okay, more speed. Come on. Come run, on. run, run. Run, 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 run. Run. Yeah. Woo! Sit more in. Comfy. in the clouds right now. <laughs> ¿Dónde estamos? Giuseppe? It's todo blanco. <laughs> Literally, I don't see. I don't see a thing. I have to completely trust Giuseppe right now that we are going to be going in the right direction. Because <laughs> I have no idea. <gasps> wow! Wow! We just like came booming through the clouds into this. I wonder where Stephanie is. Oh, I see Stephanie. You probably can't because she's so small, but she's over there. I'm so proud of her. Have you noticed that the solo bum bag's taken flight as well? It's been on many adventures already. Stephanie, yo! So apparently we're actually finishing exactly where we started. Like, they have the ability to kind of go down and then back up and um, I didn't realize that. I thought we were going over the lake, so I'm like mildly disappointed, but <laughs> it's still so beautiful. How's it going? I'm already on the hill. Already on the hill? How was 
was your flight? Uh, it was very short. I imagine we're coming back soon then. Yeah, because I said to him, I was like, can we go over there? And he was like, no, but now we're going. So I'm like, oh. Did you get to go uh, in the clouds? Yeah, I was in the clouds. I'm upset. You're so far and I'm already on the <laughs> That was Stephanie. She's, her flight is already finished. And my flight is still going and we've descended into like another valley. I think he changed his mind about where he's going to drop me because I'm not so sure we're going to get back to that same landing spot now but we shall see. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but all the houses down here, they all have swimming pools and they're all massive. And it definitely feels like we're descending. So I think we're gonna descend over here. Feet up, okay. <laughs> yep, okay, I am descending completely different to Stephanie. Let's hope it's smooth. Feet up and down. Ah, well done. Bien. Woo! Donde estamos? In San Rafael. Oh, we are in San Rafael. This is where I want. Um, yo quiero uh, visitar San Rafael. Es muy bonito. Los ríos, los cascadas. Sí. Super, super. Oh. Y Stephanie. Donde Arriba. Arriba, okay. We work a lot. Okay. So I don't know why we landed in different places, but uh, <laughs> I'm in, I am in San Rafael. Potentially because of the wind. Um, that's why we landed somewhere different. Uh, but no, yeah, we wanted to come here, but because of, um, because of the, the paragliding being postponed, we kind of realized we didn't have time to come to San Rafael. But now that I've landed in San Rafael, I wonder if I can do any exploration here, but Stephanie's not here. Hmm. <laughs> How has this happened? I'm like happy to be in San Rafael, but I'm also like, ¿Por qué? And now what? It's a bag full of gin. I'm kidding, that's our parachutes. All right, so now we are walking to the main road to try and get picked up, but I think it's going to be a bit of a long walk. We don't know how far away our lift is. <laughs> It's like when you go hot air ballooning and you don't know where you're going to land, you just have to wait to be picked up. Okay, vamos. Yeah. <laughs> Getting a lift. Not the whole way though, I, I guess just to the main road or something. Alright guys, just arrived back in Medellin at the North Bus Terminal. We're just about to get off the bus. I think that's the end of this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. We've had a very good time in Guatape, despite the fact that the weather wasn't so good and we didn't manage to do as much as we wanted, but we still had a fantastic time. Uh, and next stop is obviously Medellin, where I plan on joining the Acro Yoga community, which sounds very, very fun. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.